Hi everybody, Vincent here. Today I want to talk about public television and radio, and more specifically one specific thing about it. This is probably going to go into an upcoming documentary series. Uh, but anyway, in the interest of full disclosure, I just want to say up front, I volunteer for our public radio station. I do software development for my company that builds software that gets used in public radio. So I indirectly could make money from public radio and television and have in the past. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm just trying to be informative and informational and I do my best to be completely impartial here. But again, in the interest of full disclosure, I wanted to make that clear up front. All right, let's get into the video. So what exactly is underwriting in layman's terms? Basically what underwriting is, when you see things like on your PBS station, for example, that says from viewers like you, thank you, you know, funding was brought to you in part by things like that, or from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, or really any other underwriter that may be underwriting the program, that is part of that process. But that's not actually the whole thing. So underwriting itself is literally a funding thing. So for example, let's say I had a public radio station. I don't, but let's say I did for the sake of argument. Well, if I did and I needed funding, I could go out to underwriters and say, you know, hey, you know, you know, underwrite an hour of programming, underwrite a day of programming a week, etc. And then as part of the FCC requirements, when I have underwriters for a program or for a station, I have to announce those underwriters on the program or the station. So that's where you get the funding pod or however you want to call it that you'll see on things like PBS and other public television networks and TV stations and on radio you'll hear it in audio form obviously. So underwriting, put very simply, is literally you or a company funding portions of the program's production or the station's operation. Could be either one. So if it's a station uh, production or something where you're you're producing something for public television, let's say, say you're an independent producer and you're producing something, you have to list all the underwriters on this. You can't have any anonymous underwriters either. Anyway, but that's something to keep in mind if that you are an independent filmmaker, is that you have to disclose all underwriters for the program under U.S. federal communications law, under FCC rules. So that means that if you're producing a documentary, say for PBS or something, you have to have First of all, it can't be an anonymous one, and it has to be disclosed in different places. So there's requirements to disclose in the credits generally, and then there's usually a funding pod, from what I understand, at the beginning or end of the program. Producers should acknowledge all funders through funding credit pods. The underwriting arrangements and the language used to identify the funders must be approved in advance by PBS standards and practices. Anyhow, I hope this information was informative. So yeah, this could be part of a bigger documentary series in the future or feature length doc. And if it is, and you're watching it in part of that, cool. But anyway, thanks for watching this YouTube video, everybody. See you next time. Goodbye. If you'd like to make docs, if you ever are gonna make something and you might be able to say get And the phone's ringing.